Welcome back to uh, Tim Alexander's world and the world of reality. Uh, again, he's a Christian believer, a, uh, a Greek Orthodox believer now, of course, ex-Roman Catholic, uh, with a specific bent to analyze the military and the geopolitical issues in a way that I don't think anybody else quite gets it the way you do, uh, Tim. You cut through the, uh, the multi-level chess, and each of these uh, things in your blog, which is Europe Business with one s.blogspot.com, you post up the link to the site, and you actually have everything color-coded, which is what I used to do right back years ago. Some people thought it was nuts when I color coded my notes, but it made it very easy to go back through and index them. And when you look at these uh, comments, the, some of them are quite cutting, some are quite fu- funny, and some are actually X-rated. You really can't push the BS button and hear the... Da, da. <laughs> But uh, it, it, things are nuts. The latest move by the crazy bankers is J.P. Morgan Chase decided to literally block transactions by Russia. I mean, before, the Russians were, ha, 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 you Americans and Europeans are crazy. When they did that, when they actually blocked the transactions by Russia, that is like fighting words. Yeah, and, but they, they, we, they uh, changed that today. They uh, got cold feet all of a sudden. Cold feet? Cold uh, feet? How about the, this? It, that's, that, that's something like... Immediately, this is thermonuclear weapons were being drawn in on the financial market, and I think the the problem is the West thinks that the bites are stronger than the bomb. Uh, that is theoretical. The Russians are not to be backed into a corner, and what I see happening is, a, is a, we don't show strength on the one hand to get things the way we would like some kind of balance, and then we tick off people like Russia and China with not showing respect, so we don't handle either side of the negotiations properly. Well, and this latest uh, reversal. Dr. Bill, we've, we've created, we've allowed the global banking cartel families to create a perfect nightmare for America. We uh, allowed them uh, through bribing our politicians and blackmailing our politicians and controlling most of the major corporations to get into this situation where we've shipped all, uh, well, 56,000 plus large factories overseas in the last decade. Now, we still have some factories. We still make some things, but the great bulk of the American manufacturing is now overseas in China and in various third world countries. We export uh, far less than what we import. Hence, uh, we would be totally broke except for the fact that the American dollar is better than gold with parentheses around it. Uh, it's the international reserve currency. So here we are. We've, we've spent billions of dollars to create a revolution in the Ukraine to overthrow the constitutionally elected government to uh, and use a bunch of neo-Nazi thugs to do it. Uh, we put in as prime minister a unelected Zionist bankster, and we put several Zionist oligarchs in as regional governors, governors including in the areas that the most uh, Russian-speaking people are in. We've pushed them as far as we possibly can, and yet they haven't gone into a third world war uh, mode, at least not yet, but they have a large invasion army uh, still on the border right. now. Uh, and, uh, and that now. would trigger, by the way, if, if, if any of the yahoos and the so-called uh, putsch government that are set there uh, in Kiev, which are totally illegal, and Yanukovych was correct on this, even though he's corrupt, uh, if they ever even go near those pipelines to Russia, Russia will be like a tiger jumping over that border on their neck so fast the West will spin. And the West will do nothing to stop it. So, in other words, they need to put a choke chain on these maniacs in the uh, illegal uh, government that's taken over with uh, uh, Yatsenyuk, this maniac that's a, uh, a Hebrew, uh, we call a Jewish, Sabbatean, Satanistic, billionaire oligarch, who's the, the current proxy there, the head of the Kiev government. Uh, they need to put a choke chain on the, the call sector right party and these other people that are maniacs, like, uh, uh, because if they decide to go near those pipelines from Russia, they're dead. And I mean, yes, really did. but there's, and, there's a step Russia can do, and this is what's very interesting. There's a step Russia can do without invading, and she may to. well do it. Right. Uh, Russia sells all the natural gas, almost all the natural gas that Germany uses. Okay. Right. Uh, Germany uses this natural gas for all simple things like creating its entire electrical grid output. Right. Germany, right. the largest really economy in Europe, depends totally on Russia 
Nat- natural gas. Now, even if we have other sources of natural gas, there's not enough ships, there's not enough pipelines to get it to Germany uh, for several years. Okay, so Germany well, they do is going to three years. Yeah, now, Russia can is say to Germany, yes, we're going to keep selling you this. Ah, we're even going to sell it at about the same price. But we won't accept American dollars anymore. We want gold. Or, or maybe or, or we'll take to, your 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 your. your um, or well, we probably rubles. won't take the EU. Your, yeah, we'll what I heard uh, actually, what I heard is they're going to actually accept gold or Russian rubles. Okay, what's that do to America as the international reserve currency? Kills it. Yeah, well, Same way they made it a twenty they billion dollar deal with Iran. Thirty billion exactly. dollar deal with Iran, right. trading uh, goods for oil. Right. So basically, on every front, Russia can take apart the dollar. In other words, and I'm going to say this again so people realize that preppers, the dollar is dying. Now, why is it dying? The West wants this to happen. We we always think that everything is a failure, at least like Obamacare. No, no, it is a shining, stellar excess in terms of success for Satan. It's to kill people, suck out the economy. We talked about this the other day with Walter Burian and Mike Velarde on Tuesday, third hour. It's to create a billion, a trillion dollar, uh, literally bonanza of money for the international uh, health corporations that run all the hospitals and the big drug companies that are by Trump multinationals. It is to transfer the cost of health care to the public, including morons like this bonky eyed idiot Ryan in the so called Republican Party, who his star is rising in the Republican Party, and they want to convince us that that austerity fascism is really good for you when Granny gets killed because <laughs> yeah. it's going to save the budget. You know, yes, these people need a, uh, they need uh, a head exam. Uh, one night out of the week, you and your children, and uh, take a bus to work uh, and uh, do with less and less and less so we can have more and more and more. And that's really good. Oh, for yeah, you and then America. they give all the money to Israel so they can build more weapon systems. They don't go and do what should be happening, which is an ex damn country of Israel. Clear out their military so they don't have these weapons to kill their neighbors. Clear out their neighbors' weapons because the Muslims aren't any better than the crazy Sabbatean Jews. They're all nuts. Make sure the place is in a new, is a non you know a, you know Armageddon zone. Let's put it this way. And then deal with the Russians and the Chinese with some deal of respect and strength. So we don't have to deploy missile systems in Poland and Czech Republic, which is directly ticking off the Russians. Uh, we've been baiting them. There's no need to bait them. They don't want to be our enemy. They're not strong enough that they want to be our enemy. They don't listen. Uh, they don't actually. They're, they're continental. On. For 200 years, the Russians have wanted to have relations with America, which is why, if it wasn't for America. Uh, in the Revol- American Revolution, we would have probably won against. Well, Tsar Alexander II during the the uh, Civil War saved uh, the Union's butt, right. and uh, that's a historical fact. And uh, the Rothschilds always hated the uh, Romanov family for that. That's why and, they killed uh, them. They killed them because they they killed them because they created America, which could potentially become a real a real Christian nation, not a nascent nation that has a bunch of pseudo pastors like this Saddleback Church and these other idiots that they were recruiting to watch this stupid movie Wait, Noah. You, you, I mean, oh, it's just that, it's that crazy. movie is terrible. It is the worst bag of tripe that I've ever seen, and the person who who produced it, the director, uh, Aronofsky, is a Sabbatean Kabbalistic piece of crap from the Ninth Ring of Hades. This is an example coming out of the bowels of, of Hollywood. That's why America is wrong. Even Muslim countries have enough sense that they wouldn't let this even be broadcast in their country. You know, I went to you see know, it so I could so make a comment on is, is, uh, they did all they could to destroy Christianity in the former Russian Empire. They killed 80 to 100 million people uh, from the beginning of communism until its end. Uh, Yet, Christianity has come back stronger than ever. Same way in China. You you have one page of the Bible and evangelize. You go to a Laodai prison camp, you genetically type, whip out your organs because the tissue type matches with somebody that wants them. And in Christianity, as well, 88% of new Christians are Chinese. Is the defrock the uh, priest? Yeah, it, it was a uh, famous radio priest. Ah, okay. There you go. <clears throat> Welcome back, Ed, Tim. These stories are, you know, if you were to write them up as a script for a movie, uh, they'd hardly be hard to believe, but they're actually happening. 
you know, the thing is, thank God, our God is God. And also he set things in, that is going to, are going to give a chance even to these Sabbatean Satanists to repent. Uh, he's going to give a chance for the Russians who've gone through horrors in the last century. And yet Christianity is rising there with all the persecution. Same way in China, 80% of the new Christians are Chinese worldwide. Yeah, it was uh, uh, a number of years ago I was in Russia, and I was really uh, shocked to see uh, so many priests on the street. I was uh, shocked to see, well, of course, at that time they were building the new cathedral. Uh, I think it's Christ the Savior Cathedral in Moscow. It's now open. I've seen videos of the interior. It's absolutely breathtaking. And uh, even my girlfriend at the time, uh, when she was, I think, 12 or 14, she decided she wanted to be baptized. But communism was falling at that time, at that point, and of course, when I was there, communism was was over. But uh, you know, they killed eighty to hundred million people, mostly Christians, uh, and they terrorized the entire this entire large nation and uh, the rest of Eastern Europe. And it was uh, so much of it was anti-Christian. But right. Christianity has come back, and I, I know a lot of people from uh, Eastern Europe, uh, Romania, Bulgaria, and so forth, and those those countries, the Christianity is just exploding, and all these old monasteries that were turned into farms or warehouses or whatever are being reworked and opened, and people are they're, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're ordaining priests, right? And of course, most of their priests are married. Uh, they're, they're, uh, it, it, it is should be. absolutely it should be. amazing. Yeah, and should here be. In, in fat America, we're losing our money, uh, we're losing our morals, and uh, the priests and preachers uh, in many of the churches simply are not dealing with the gross immorality that we have oh. and uh, the, 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 the stranglehold on America. The news media, the government, the uh, the economics that some truly evil forces have. Nobody's standing up to them. Now, you well, are, I, I am, and a lot of people in the alternative media are. And thank God we're able to. Because if we weren't able to, because you now have only about six corporations that control all the mainstream media, 96% of it. Did you say lame brain media? Without us, we would be lost. Yeah, the lame brain media. We're the media. We should not make excuses anymore. We are not a peripheral, the alternative, no. They're the alternative. They're the satanic, brain-numbing, lobotomizing, I'm going to destroy myself, so commit financial, spiritual, and geopolitical suicide media. We're the ones that are empowering people, getting people ready for the second coming of Jesus, literally coming through a, through a third millennium where lifespan will be extended, where we'll live in a world of peace, where we can explore the stars and realize that our God is a very great God that he has made children, that's us, that have to pick up our scepter and rule, that we don't need to have war. We can have the coat of many colors of nations that can all collaborate to protect our, our planet and our world, where people can grow up and live, as it says in the book of Isaiah, that Jesus mentioned in the first talk he had in the synagogue, uh, that though man dies at 100, it shall be the years of a child. That's the kind of world that Jesus is, wants us to be. We, he wants us to be the change agents. He wants us to be his children. He wants us to speak up and, and not think that, that faith is blind. It's not blind. There's no such thing as blind faith. God delivers, you know, better than DHL or FedEx or UPS. He delivers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are we are literally part of his living, creative thought of of uh, creation, right. and everything comes from God. Now, now right. sin is rejecting God, but every, every particle, every subatomic well, particle is part of God. Well, we see that with uh, Mr. Putin. Putin is a devout uh, uh, Russian Orthodox Christian. Well, he appears to be. He appears to be. I, well, I believe I in people's actions. Uh, I, don't, I can't judge his soul. With a grain I can't, of salt, but he, he appears I, I, to be. I can't judge his soul, but I can judge his actions. How's that? And his now, actions I've tell me. I've seen pictures of the interior of his Air Force One, and he has uh, icons and crosses on the interior. I've never seen a cross or any religious symbol on 
on the American Air Force One. On the well, uh, Obama won't even put his hand on his chest when they say the national uh, anthem. So what we have is a, is a bisexual, cocaine-addicted, bizarre, multiple personality. Now, are we talking about Satan. Bush Jr. Or, or the current we talk Obama? About Obama. Oh, it could, be, it could apply to both. I'm uh, sorry. I, okay, no, go no, ahead. I call, I call it Obama. You know, his <laughs> new name is so, Because every time you hear his name, it's Obama. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoever his name is uh, and wherever he was born, whoever was well, his mother. Well, I heard an interesting talk uh, we had on the show a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, Richard, oh, we had Mr. Oates on talking about the uh, reverse speech. And if you actually listen to some of the reverse speech, that uh, Barry Satoro, a.k.a. the real person that's there, uh, referred to the personality called Barack Obama is that he should co- continue selling. In other words, there's an implanted, sabotaging, satanistic sub-personality that's a manufactured entity that is not the real person. Barack Obama is a figment. He doesn't exist in reality. He is the avatar kind of presentation that they put before the teleprompter, but a Barack Obama does not exist. Barry Satoro it, does. It's all fake. Everything is so, fake anymore. Everything is fake. It's, it's also now, destroyed the office of the president. It's not fake. We're about out of time here, but there's a story I linked on my uh, blog. It comes from a London paper. And looking at the uh, Shroud of Turin, uh, which I, I personally know a number of the scientists involved in it, and I am in total belief that it was the actual burial shroud of Jesus mm-hmm. of Nazareth. Yeah, I Based on I some of the blood studies that they've done on the arms uh, on the, the shroud, they think that Christ, may, his arms may have been closer together on the cross, which meant that his crucifixion was actually even more painful. Uh, normally when you see uh, Christ on a cross, his arms are stretched out. And the, we know historically the Romans did crucifixion several different ways. But if his arms were closer together, uh, it meant that he, it was even more painful for him to pull himself up with, for every breath. Because on the cross, the crucified person uh, had to pull themselves up to take a breath. And, of course, they were nailed through, well, the, the word that was used in Greek for hands includes the wrist, and they were actually right. nailed in the wrist. We know that yeah. from the shroud. I, I found it out when, I, when that, I died at eight and a half that uh, the holes that Jesus had in his wrist, the scars there in the holes, were in the wrist, not the hand. And the same in his yeah. feet. They weren't between his toes. They were and I think ankles. you've told me before that the, 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 the image I have on my, the top of my shroud, for the, the facial image of Christ from the shroud, was actually the, what you, who you saw. He looks right? exactly like that. The best way to describe him, he looked like a Viking with reddish auburn hair, pulled out in plucks in his cheeks because his beard was pulled out. He had vertical half marks, and he looked like he had a very long face, very high brow, a very big eyes, very long nose, very, very pronounced features like high cheekbones. He looked like, I would say, a Viking with olive-colored skin would be the best Well, way he's coming back soon, so we'll all get to see him. Yeah. And he was a big man. He was not a... He was a serious-looking guy, let's put it that way. God himself. Yes, indeed. He's coming back, thank God. Yep. Back in a moment.